Range fans, range fans, we are back on the 50-yard line today, 50-yard rifle range with another CZ, or is it? 22, coming up next. That's right, left you hanging there for a little bit, didn't I? Looks like a CZ, might be a CZ, or is it a CZ? You know, I've been asking you guys for a long time, is it a CZ 457 that I'm after? Is it a Bergera that I'm after? Which one of those things am I going to get next? The answer is neither. <laughs> yes, I'm a mess, folks. You guys have told me that already. But I'm proud to be here with this historic relic. It is a CZ Berno or B-R-N-O Model 5. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you a little bit about this thing before we shoot it. CZ BRNO Model 5. <clears throat> Some say this is the height, the height of rimfire making by CZ back in the day, even equating it to being a tad bit better than those made today. The 452, well, not made anymore. 455, well, not made anymore. And now the 457. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Would you rather have this old relic, BRNO Model 5, or CZ 457? I tell you, let's, let's talk a little bit about it. The CZ BRNO Model 5 has a hooded front sight and also a 16 inch barrel. What's interesting about this barrel are the sights to me. They were made as trainers back in the day. It has a 50 yard sight, a flip up 75 yard sight, this particular barrel, and I'll tell you why, and then a flip up 100 yard sight. That's right, dial it in anywhere from 50 to 75 to 100 yards, but you can see I have, whoo, hard to see through this thing, a four power Leupold rimfire scope on it. <clears throat> I've always wanted a BRNO and I came across this, this specimen is just, it, it, it leaves me at a loss for words. The metal is in really good condition. The wood is in awesome condition. And today for you, we're gonna see if this thing will shoot. Not only does it have that nice sights on it, it has a 16 inch barrel, it has a metal magwell and also kind of the, I think you pronounce it schnabel, uh, front end, four end there, and also from a bolt perspective. You can see there, it's threaded here on the inside and also hollow, but looks like the traditional CZ bolt. Now the BRNO Model 5s, they're long out of production folks, and the Model 5 is one that's a little bit hard to come by because only 33,000 of them were made. Of those 33,000, it is said to be 15,000 of them went to a contract in the Middle East. I think it was Egypt, it was Lebanon, uh, United of Arabs. Um, oh gosh, uh, many countries in the Middle East that that contract was for. So when you take 15,000 right out of the 33,000 production number, I would say this was a little limited. Even though I wanted a heavy barrel Model 2, Model 4, I couldn't pass this one up, especially for the price. He knows who I am. He's watching this video, and I absolutely appreciate the deal he gave to me on this thing. Now, the Model 5, not only is it pretty limited, it's pretty unique because the barrel is said to come from a Model 1. The trigger is from a Model 4, and so this thing is all kinds of hybrid. You know what? There's plenty of information out there on the BRNOs. There's plenty of people that love them. Go over to rimfirecentral.com if you want to know more. There are some very experienced, knowledgeable people over there in the CZ forum as it pertains to BRNO, and I wanted to share this with them today. Now, we're going to see if this thing shoots. We're going to put three groups from Center X downrange. My first time shooting this thing. I did get it zeroed in, to be fair, but. We're going to shoot Center X at some bullseye targets down range, four power scope, keep in mind. And then we're going to see if this old dog can hunt. Be right back. All right, all right. I got 15 rounds of Lapua Center X loaded up here. Metal five round magazine. Polymer 10 round magazine. Hey, folks, that's the one thing I do love about these CZs. BRNO 
or just CZ, they all take pretty much the same magazines. And we're gonna see how this thing functions on camera, and most importantly, shoot. I know it's got some nice iron sights, but these old eyes of mine, they just ain't there no more. I can barely see the target with this four power. So let's see how this thing shoots. We'll put three five shot groups down range. We're gonna see if this dog can hunt. Here we go. Nice trigger. Ooh, that bolt throw is smooth. And that's five, folks. You're gonna have to tell me what does that group look like? Because, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see what I see through this scope. Now, this Leupold 4X is a true rimfire scope. It is crystal clear. It is drawing in a ton of light. But man, I need some more power. Maybe you guys can help me out. What is a day and age vintage scope with a little bit more power that would go and match wonderfully with this BRNO Model 5 and maybe sit above the rear sight? Maybe if not sit above the rear sight, maybe even keep it short. Yeah, probably keep it short because the stock angles down a tad bit. That way I don't have to put anything on this thing to cover up this beautiful wood to raise my cheek. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's go two more five shot groups in the target right next door. I don't know. Come on now. You guys tell me, is it live or is it Memorex? Is it grouping or not? I have no idea. Look, I can see the, I can see the target and I can see some of the white outline probably would have been better with something like a shoot and see or a reflective target that prints those groups a tad bit more. But you've seen these groups before I have. We got five more rounds on the target right next door. Move this old bag. Trigger kind of scared me on that one. Don't know if I pulled it or not. Ooh, the concentration. And that's five, folks. I got to go down range and get a close up of this target. CZ, Berno, BRNO, Model 5. Whoo, come on, baby. I'll take it. <laughs> yes, sir, everybody. Can we zoom in? Look, that's the first five shots from the Model 5. Not too bad for a four power scope. And we move over to the center. And it starts to tighten up a little better. Is that barrel getting seasoned? Yes, I did clean the barrel before coming out. So maybe that's what that means. Then that last group of the day. Yes, baby. Uh-huh. Come on, talk to you, boy. I'll take it. <laughs> Tell me what you think, Range fans. Oh, boy. Will that CZ BRNO Model 5? You know what? Let's see if this old thing will hunt. Oh, did y'all check out those groups? I am digging it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to see if this thing can hunt. That's right. We're going to see if it can hunt. Hey, by the way, a number of you, I really appreciate the love and support you guys show the channel. Just through the camaraderie, me and the wife try to respond to each of the comments. Just through the camaraderie, through the comments on the channel on the website at dayattherange.com. Really absolutely appreciate you guys. And more so, many of you have emailed and asked about the old Day at the Range logo, that's right, new logo, and also cap. I responded to each of you. The caps are in production. Look, I'm not asking for something for nothing. I love what I do. 
uh, and bringing these videos for you. And it's also, yes, therapeutic for me. I, I, I generally am a positive guy, love to have fun, and I have a lot of fun while I'm on the range, and I try to bring that energy to you all. And so, therefore, if you care to support the channel, not asking for any, something for nothing, you can buy one of these old things. You just email me at MrRevolverGuy at DayAtTheRange.com, and the hats are being made right now. We'll solidify the transaction and get them out to you. Let's see. <laughs> By the way, 10-round magazine. These things that didn't even exist when this old dog was made. Let's see if this dog can hunt, y'all. <laughs> hey, got to move the old seat back. Y'all see them dogs downrange? Oh, I see them. I cannot see that small circle on those dogs. Holy cow. You know what? We're going to go for headshots then. Let's go for headshots. If you can't see the target, you got to go for headshots. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Will this thing hunt? Oh, that last dog is on the move. We got to go back at him. Ooh, rapid fire at a moving dog. Let's go see if this thing can hunt. Oh, oh yeah, baby. It absolutely will get it done. 50 yards, this thing will hunt. Four power scope. Poor old dog. Look at him. That's right. Not too bad. Would have got it done and that old dog there tried to run away from me. Had to put some more in him. Hey guys, thank you very much for supporting Mr. Revolver Guy, Miss LEO45 at dayatherange.com. Supporting our 2A rights, bringing many to the sport to show that it is a sport and can be fun. Whoo, going home.